hey guys welcome back to my channel so previously in my channel i showed you how to add this bustier cut to your simple blouses to make it look more flattering and show a more contour look to your bust and also i have a tutorial on how to make this beautiful all-in-one peplum top it's very simple and easy to make and this is how it looks without a belt and when you wear it with a belt this is how it looks and today i'm going to be showing you how to make a simple long fitted pencil skirt this is so flattering and it can work for any kind of blouse be it peplum blouse or fitted or talking blouses this is very easy to make i hope you guys like my tutorial give it a thumbs up you can share it with your friends and you follow up make sure you subscribe also to my channel let's get going so here i'm going to start off with making reference lines where i'll put my measurement so you're going to fold one quarter of your hip measurement plus seam allowance and here as you can see above here i've taken off one and a half inches from the measurement because it's going to have a waistband and i'm going to measure down from here i'm going to measure the hip line the knee line and the full length of your skirt then you're going to add your hemming allowance also I'm going to start off with marking the waist measurement that is one quarter of your waist measurement plus one inch for that allowance then don't forget to add your seam allowance also then on the hip you're going to measure one quarter of your hip measurement then you add your seam allowance and then on the knee line you're going to remove one and a half or one inch from your hip measurement and mark it on your knee level then at the bottom part of it whatever you mark here you're going to remove half inch from it and mark it at the bottom part of it to create a good pencil skirt to your skirt so here when you're done making all the markings you're going to connect these lines as you can see it right here then when i'm done connecting this i'm just going to cut this off and use it to mark the back part of the skirt then here you've placed it on the back part of the skirt the only difference is that you're going to bring out two inches here for the zip allowance and for the slit allowance and then you're going to mark exactly as you have on the front part of your skirt then the next thing we are going to do is to create a pattern for the waistband assuming this is the center front of your skirt you're going to mark this any length of waistband you wish here i marked two and a half inches and then i'm just going to mark the waist the one quarter of the waist measurement right here and i mark the middle part of the measurement then from here i'm going to mark half inch above this line and half inch above the line here so once i'm done marking this the next thing i'm going to do is to connect it to the halves i have marked here previously and that is the waistband then I'm just going to place it and mark out the zip allowance here just like I have on the skirt and I'm just going to cut this out. And when you're done with that, you're going to cut out your interface for the front and back part of the skirt. You're just going to hem the bottom of your interface and then sew your interface to your skirt. As you can see here, I've done that already. Now it's time to sew down our dust. I just mark from the center front, I've marked 4 inches in, like so, 4 inches, then I mark 6 inches down. And I'm just going to take half inch from both sides of this dart line and then sew my dart. And I'm going to do it to the other part of the skirt as well. So here for the back part, remember we marked out two inches here. And then from this line, you're going to make the same markings as you did for the front. Then you sew on your dart. Make sure you do that to the other side of the skirt as well. So you're going to mark seven inches down here. And then from here you're going to sew up to this point and this is like four to five inches above the knee line and you can add or reduce the measurement depending on how long you want your slip to be then the next thing you're going to do after stitching this together is to mark your two inches and put it just as I've done it and I'm going to sew from here up to this part but and down here but if you want to have an overlapping slit you can also do that as well next you are going to place your skirts right side to right side to each other then you mark your measurement at the side seam and then stitch it together now it's time to sew the waistband then for the front part of your waistband you're going to sew up here 
on all of them, including the back piece. After sewing the top part, you're going to open the front like so. Then you're going to take this part of the back, place it to each other, right side to right side, and sew on the side seams. Then after sewing the side seams, you have to have something like this. Then you're going to sew below this line, close it together. And after doing that, you sew it onto your skirt, then you attach your zipper and hem your skirt. And it's ready, as simple as that. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you also leave a comment below. I would like to know what you think and your suggestions because we are all here to learn from each other. And don't forget to join us on Facebook also on Sewing Bee Night. Thanks for watching. Bye.